Tackle Trading. Hey, uh, Coach Tim here from TackleTrading.com, as you know. And I want to do a tutorial on how to use the clubhouse. In fact, uh, it's one of my favorite things to go into every day and kind of see what you guys are doing. I want to make sure everybody knows exactly what it is and how you do it. On the Tackle Trading website, you're going to find Clubhouse. It's a button. You then have to join. Now, your username, password, login information is going to be generated automatically, and it's not the same as your regular Tackle Trading login because this is an application that we've built called our Clubhouse. We actually use a product from a, a company called Mighty Bell, uh, which is what powers our Clubhouse. And then once you join, you'll then be able to log into the Clubhouse kind of like this. Now, let me walk you around the basics here, okay? Home, Discovery, Members, and About. You've got these buttons over here. Discovery allows you to kind of go through different topics, uh, different featured topics. You know, when one of the hosts, like myself, decides to feature something, we're going to tag it accordingly. And that's what these posts up here are going to be. You can kind of scan through the more recent featured topics. Announcements, Trading Justice Podcast, Options. These are all topics that you can then kind of follow, right? Uh, or if you have a question, you might want to sp uh, specifically post it in that topic and make sure that you're there. I'm going to follow the goal post right here and follow the highlight reel as well. Top members, featured, so on and so forth. And if there are events that we have created, they will be in the upcoming live events section uh, and so on and so forth. Now, the members, this is how you can connect, you know, uh, Tim, Mitch. Now, as a host, I might have a different interface slightly than you do, but you can look at the ambassador program, see who's referred the most members. You can look at who, who your hosts are and send them a message, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's just simple, go through all the different things and make sure that you're understanding how to use the basic interface. Now, I'm going to go back to the home screen for a minute here, and I'm going to show you how to use this home screen. From here, the feed is fine. It's like any social media feed. I mean, you kind of just scroll through it. You can identify what's going on, you know, read through it. It's kind of like Facebook or Twitter, or any of them, really. You know, you've got your, 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 your feed, your news feed coming in. That's fine. I actually really like to do it this way. I click this button right here to condense it into the list view. It makes it easier for me to go through stuff quickly. And I've got my personal feed, which is going to be the stuff I follow by latest activity. And I also have my everything feed, okay? My activity feed. See, I can filter it by whatever it is that I want. Uh, you know, like my activity here, these are posts I've put up recently. Subscribe to the Trading Justice YouTube channel. Talked about our glossary. I posted a question about what people's financial goals were, so on and so forth. And you can just kind of go down and see what's going on, you know. Uh, you can filter it by different ways. Uh, if I just do everything, one of the ways I like to do it is I come down and then I'll look at anything that maybe I haven't engaged with recently. You know, like this one right here. Okay, there's no hearts and there's no comments. So I'm going to click it. And this is from one of our members, Justin Driscoll, down in Georgia. And Justin says, I personally like to plan the trade and trade the plan, but one thing I don't plan for is entering a swing trade in the stock falling asleep. No going towards the target, not getting stocked up, uh, stopped out, just eating up data. Does anyone have rules that gives a trade the time limit to do something? Stock that I could use as an example recently is AXP. I'm going to click like. I'm going to say time rules are great. To use to limit swing trade exposure okay but if you haven't been stopped out nor reached a target patience might be best and I post a reply and then by the way and if you ever want to get a coach's attention or something something like that you don't want to just put their name in there for example you don't want to just put in like, hey, Noah, what do you think? Because Noah might not actually see that, okay? What you want to do is at mention the coach. If I say at Noah, I find him from the list or one of the coaches at Tackle Trading. And let's make sure I get the right at mention there. And I say at Noah. And I find Noah Davidson, I click it, 
His name will then turn to red, and I'll post comment, okay? And then I'll, that'll make sure that Noah gets a notification that I wanted him to, to say something. Every now and then I do see comments from traders about coaches, and I'm like, guys, they might not see it if you don't at mention them. So make sure that when you do reference a coach or somebody that you want to talk to, at mention them so it will give them a notification up here on the top right. Uh, the activity feed. Now, when you're creating a post, there's a lot that you can do. You know, you can share what's on your mind. You can say, markets are stuck in the mud waiting for earnings season. What strategies have you been trading in this market? Okay, and I can then either, I can do a lot of things. I can embed a link, I can add a video, I can add a photo. I can add a poll. I'm going to add a poll right here. Multiple choice. Actually, yeah, let's do multiple choice. And I'm going to say thing maybe like a delta theta vega not cur not currently trading. Okay? And then post it. Post it with a, a topic, ask a coach, post. And since I'm a host, I can now notify you guys that I put that out there. And then boom, here it comes through your feed. And then uh, it will then show up here. I would post, guys. You know, that's why it's a clubhouse. It is a place that is built for your engagement. It is a place that is built for you to be able to, you know, kind of communicate and ask questions and talk to each other and help each other out and answer other people's questions. You know, it's okay to be new, there's no doubt about it, but it's, I think it's really important that you do engage in the clubhouse. And then up here, you've got a couple other features. You've got the chat feature, okay? And I can open up a new chat. I can search for chat. There's a traditional tackle trading chat that if you click it, you can post comments in here and kind of go as you go. Happy hump day. Hashtag team tackle. Okay. Then it will post that. And this notification bell will allow you to kind of see what other people have engaged with you and so on and so forth. When host posts something, it will come in up here. And then your profile. You can uh, update your settings. You can draft things. You can build articles. There's all kinds of stuff that you can. Here's my basic advice. Use the clubhouse. The more you use it, the more you post, the more intuitive it will become. And make sure that you're just, you know, having some fun with it. Uh, this has been a how-to video from CoachTTackleTrading.com.